So now we're gonna take a look at a turbo on an actual engine. So you can see what I was saying, you got the exhaust driven side of the air compressor over here. So it's attached to the exhaust manifold. So all the exhaust flow leaving this Cummins ISX is gonna be traveling through this turbocharger before it leaves and goes out the exhaust pipe. That's gonna cause the compressor wheel over here on this side to spin. And then that cold compressed air or that hot compressed air is gonna travel through this piping and it's gonna to come to this charge air cooler on the front of the radiator. So you can see down here, here's the radiator behind the charge air cooler. So all that air coming through the grill or being pulled through by the fan comes down and cools that air that's been heated up by the turbo. So now when it leaves the charge air cooler, you got cold air or not cold, but cooler air coming through here and then eventually heading into the intake manifold. So these are essential components for a turbo to operate.